Certified Financial Planner. CFP is one of those kind of qualifications that when I used to be in college, a lot of people were taking up because they didn't want to do CA, but they wanted to do something in the field of finance. It was a course which was just about a year and not too difficult. It had four exams. And I saw people, I have a friend who did uh, CFP and CFP that time taught everything on taxation, insurance, I think it was real estate, etc. And uh, I had somebody who was doing it just to secure a degree. Today, that same boy who I know is a proper what we call a financial planner in India. I don't know, decent enough clients that he, I'm sure he's being able to do, at least in the next few years, he'll be doing multi crores of business. He's very reliable because his ability to understand the how, how Indian families should plan their finances is very strong. And more importantly, I personally am uh, giving him fees for him to do my family and my financial planning. So when I combine it all, right, I've seen that financial planning is something that a lot of people can benefit from. So from the way I'm thinking of it, financial planning is more like you know, in India, we say that if you, every family needs a doctor. In the US, they say that every family needs a financial planner. And I think that in the next few years, India will reach a point where families will accept that we need somebody who's an expert, somebody who's trustworthy to take care of our family's finances. So in this video, we're going to talk about the CFP course and whether it's going to be the right course for you. And what is it that you can do? You know, do you want to work in companies like Motilal Oswal, Anand Rati, which do financial planning, wealth management, or like this guy, my friend, do you want to basically start your own little venture where you find one client after another, understand the value of planning finances for Indian families, understand their needs, create a plan for them, it help them with insurances, with investing, with uh, decision making, and then hopefully make it a win-win for everybody. All right, so first thing is the basics of CFP, right? So Certified Financial Planning, it is by the CFPB board, which is which the B is for the board. And the eligibility criteria is that as long as you've given grade 12, you're eligible for the course. Now, coming to the academic structure. So CFP has six modules. And as you can see on the screen, but the first module is not separately tested. There are essentially five exams. And the first module is more or less tested across. And you have to appear for all of these exams computer-based. It's a three-hour exam with a six-hour case study. And as you can see, each topic is quite self-explanatory in what is it that they teach you. So as you can see, module one is about introduction to financial planning, where you learn concepts like time value of money, education planning, etc. The second one on insurance planning is literally about risk analysis, insurance policies and concepts, etc., etc. Retirement planning is again exactly what it sounds like. I, I actually in the process of figuring out the retirement plan for my father, where I actually am taking the help of CFPs who are experts. The fourth one is components of investment planning. Here it's you know about regulation of the process, investment vehicles, client application, etc. Again, for module five is literally about tax planning and planning of estate. Estates would mean if your father is giving you a lot of his assets, a lot of his businesses, a lot of his properties, when he hands it over to you, there could be tax implications. So how do you overall look at all of that? That's what estate planning is. If something has happened to, it's going to happen as, as people age. They make their wills, which we've seen in movies and all. It's all a very common fact in India. So that the inheritance is correctly provided to the nominees or more in most cases, the family members of the person creating the will. And lastly, advanced financial planning. And again, this is more about how do you look at overall financial goals and client expectations and how do you deal with, with it in the real world. When it comes to the exam window, the exam can be given thrice a year in March, July and November. The overall fees for CFP is going to be approximately maybe less than 2 lakhs if I'm not wrong, which includes everything by the way. All the, all the exams, all the study material, all the training to basically get you the CFP license. So guys, I think this covers a lot of the details of CFP. If you've missed anything, let us know in the comments. And I hope that you'll make a career decision that actually helps you guys. If you found any value, give us a like. Thank you.